afternoon everybody uh, and welcome back to Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park for the latest in our Wednesday Facebook Live videos. Uh, today we are just going to have another little wander around um, but we're going to do more of a viewer's choice. Um, today I'm uh, just going to see what you guys want to see. I've already got a little list from the comments um, on the post I put up on Facebook yesterday. Um, so yeah we'll go and see them first and then if we've got time we'll, we'll go and see some others that you might like to see. So we're starting off with Pete the Komodo Dragon, who has awful timing, and as we went live, decided to go into his back room, but we can just about see him. Hi Tim, hi Penny, hope you're okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can see Pete moving around in his back room there. So yeah, Pete's got his on-show enclosure, um, then he's also got access to his off-show enclosure, which he's got access to 24-7, um, which is just a kind of smaller version of the the, enclosure, the, the main on-show enclosure. Um, then he does also have his little outdoor area uh, to the right of us. Um, obviously in the cold weather at the moment he isn't going out in this because um, it is all a little bit chilly for him. Especially when we're down at freezing and things like that. It's, it's way too cold to, to be letting, letting him out. So here he is coming out to say hello. So there we go, Tim. I think I answered your question before it popped up. Um, yeah, in the cold weather, we we don't let him outdoors. Um, yeah, it's just better for him to to stay indoors, keep the heat in the indoors where where it's nice and warm for him. So yeah, he had a he had a bit of a feed. Uh, when did he have a feed? Last week, I believe. Can't remember when I did it. I think it was uh, I think it was last week, um, so that should do him for for a little while. It's quite a big feed. Um, he had a couple of rabbits and a couple of quail, so so yeah, he's he's fairly all right now for probably the next month or so. Hi Sue, hope you're okay. Right, we'll move on from Pete and we'll go and see if Nala's out and about. Um, I didn't see her a minute ago. I did walk past um, and couldn't spot her anywhere. <laughs> Um, she's probably in her favourite little spot hidden in the brambles at the moment. Um, but we'll have a quick wander around and see if we can see her. So yeah, her kind of favourite spot to sleep in at the moment is to the left of the tree. Kind of to the left and behind that tree there. Um, yeah, she's, she's spending a lot of time in there at the moment. It's her favourite little spot. I think that's where she probably is at the moment, which is a shame, but there you go. Um, so Tim, the majority of, you know, the more exotic species will choose to stay indoors more, and the majority of the primates will stay indoors more. Um, obviously things like the tortoises, much like Pete, we won't really let them out in very cold weather um, or anything like that. Um, things like red pandas and wish dogs and things like that can, they don't really change their behaviour as much um, same with things like the otters um, ocelot and things like that as well they, they kind of do all the same kind of things um, but yeah um, there's not, not too much difference for, for quite a few of the species right we'll come and see the red pandas see what they're up to fed them about an hour ago so hopefully they're still up and about but maybe not I can see Aria Aria is over on top of the box there and Mo is in that box there so Mo is just there in the feed box just having a bit of food don't know if you can see him there just inside the box and Aria's actually just got up there she is Is. So yeah, we've got Aria just up on top there. Just came over to have a quick little look. Mo's still in the box. I think he's just about to come out actually. Yeah, he's just coming out now. Oh no, he's not. Changed his mind. 
No, exactly, Tim. And um, something like the Red Panda is, you know, adapted for the cold weather. Very thick fur, very bushy tail, which they can wrap around themselves. Um, fur all over, really, even on the, even on the um, pads of their feet. So, so yeah, they are very well insulated against the cold. Right, he's just turning around there, having a bit of a wonder. Mo did come out of the box. I'm not quite sure where he's gone. Probably pop up on the climbing frame at some point. Yeah, Ari is going back to one of her favourite sleeping spots, which is on top of the nest box rather than in it. And Mo's actually just jumped up onto the climbing frame there. You can see his tail. Over. We'll probably just pop him, um, see him. Oh no, he's gone the other way. Thought he was going to pop towards the, the food bowl in the middle. But he's just going off to the right there. And yeah, Ari is having a bit of a, a bit of a scratch there on top of her nest box. Um, so, not our species of otter, um, Tim. Um, being, well, not, uh, what would the word be? Being aquatic but not marine um, means that they don't need a layer of blubber. Um, and blubber is generally something you see in kind of marine animals, you know, your whales and your dolphins and your seals and sea lions and things like that. Um, otters, as far as I'm aware, don't actually have any blubber. Um, the only one I'd be, the only species I'd be um, I think May would be the sea otter, but I don't think they do, but I may be wrong on that. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure with them, but, but our species, the Asian shore clawed, um, don't have, don't have blubber. Um, and like I say, I don't think the majority of, of otter species do. So we just come in to see our sloths in our nocturnal house. Um, I can see one who you can see just hanging around. Um, I don't know where the other three are. They might be in the slightly darker side of the enclosure. Over to the right hand side. Um, but I've got one here who I can see having a bit of a scratch at the moment. The Dirikuli monkeys are also running around at the moment. Having a bit of a play fight. So yeah, we've got our little family of four sloths in here. Mum, Safi, Dad, Ermel, and then um, their two offspring. I think this one is actually Safi. I think, but I can't tell. Oh no, there's Safi. So this is Safi coming over from the right-hand side. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure who this one is. Um, Um, well, and the kids all look very similar, so yeah, not 100% sure. Nope. Safi's just having a bit of a giving him a bit of a telling off. And going back to bed by the look of it. While we're here, one of the cloud rats has just come to say hello. Right up to the window there. They're all out and about, actually. They're all quite active. One's, um, one's actually half climbed up the wall, which is quite an interesting one. I haven't seen that before. Shows how good they are at climbing, though, because that, um, that wall's, you know, fairly fairly sheer. Um, yeah, just using any little nooks and crannies they can to get their claws in. Very interesting. Never seen that before. Ah, lovely Karen. That would be really nice to go and see sloths out in the wild. Oh, the armadillo's out as well, actually. Just coming round from the right hand side. There he is. Haven't seen him out in the out and about in a little while. 
Gott, was ist das eben? Hallo Sena, hope you're okay. Yeah, so this armadillo is a uh, southern three-banded armadillo. Um, there are quite a few different species of armadillo, um, but here's a southern three-banded from South America, as well, all the uh, armadillo species are from the Americas. Some do go up into North America um, as well as, as South America. No, so they um, they all get along fine, Penny. Um, it's a mix of species you'd be able to see in the wild, all living in the same kind of area. Um, obviously, they they wouldn't really be in this close proximity, but um, but yeah, um, no, they don't mind living with each other at all. Um, or you know, the sloths, the owl monkeys, and the and the armadillo are all South American species, so so yeah, they all um, they all get along fairly well, which is which is good. And then the rats next door are on their own because they're a little bit more well, mainly they're from a a different part of the world. They're from from Asia, but um, they're also a little bit more grumpy than these guys. So I'll just watch Safi have a bit of a wander around at the moment. Yes, Tim. So, um, yeah, it does get a little bit quieter visitor-wise over the winter. Um, I think less people want to want to come out and and yeah, enjoy the enjoy the park just because of the cold weather, especially on a day like today where it is fairly chilly. Um, but but yeah, we still do okay. It's actually fairly busy for a Wednesday in December today. It's um yeah, it's quite quite a busy one today, um, relatively speaking. Right then, guys, um, we'll have a look at the pottos because they're actually both quite active at the moment as well while we're in here. Um, but I think we will wrap up in a minute. Um, sorry for it being a little bit of a short video today, but um, just got some bits that I do need to crack on with today. But it's quite nice to see the pottos both quite active today. There's one there, and where is the other one? Where's he gone? Oh, he's down. Down there, actually. So pottos are a species of loris from Africa. Um, not many in captivity, um, especially in the UK. I think we're one of only two or three collections that have got potto. Um, these guys, we hope, are a breeding pair. Um, no luck as yet, but fingers crossed one day they might produce a little one. That would be lovely. Right then guys, I think we will call it a day there. Um, so yeah, we'll be back at uh, same time next week uh, on Wednesday, um, where we are gonna start one of two um, slightly festive related videos uh, before Christmas. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll start that next week, but we'll we'll save the details um, until we, we advertise it next week. So, um, so yeah, join us next week for our first kind of festive, festive Facebook Live video um, and yeah, we will, um, we will see you then. Thanks for tuning in, uh, and we'll see you then. Bye.